And so this week, I was definitely going through a lot of death and rebirth. And this uh, module, the unknown, and I speak about it, and I've got so much sensitivity in my body right now, I feel like I'm about ready to just blow up. But the unknown is a huge one, a huge one, and they're all huge. But this is definitely the invitation of the process of death and rebirth. And we're constantly moving through that within our lives. Um, it can be small. It can be big. It can be um, losing a loved one. But tonight, what I'm going to talk about um, mostly is the rebirth and the death of our identities and our souls. And it's when we are being reborn. And a lot of the times when we are moving through that, and I'll get a little bit more into it later, it's known as the dark soul because it doesn't always look pretty. <laughs> it can look really messy and it can look really wild and there can be a lot of tears and there can be a lot of anxiety and depression and um, uncertainty because we are in the unknown. And this, to me, of course, you know, I get really turned on by this stuff, but like the unknown is so connected into the feminine energy because feminine energy is actually chaotic. I mean, it really, I mean, I don't mean that just with females because we know I'm not talking about female or male within this, but feminine energy is asking us this is what we've been studying the past two sessions is to drop into our sensations and our sensitivity and all of our wild emotions and our emotions are constant they're constantly moving through us they're constantly flowing through us whether we welcome them in or we numb them out they're there and the unknown is just like the weather we have the weather goddess or the weather god and they can tell us and they can predict but really we're always in the unknown of what's going to happen each day. And Mother Nature is so wild. She shows us her all. And you guys hear me say this in yoga classes a lot, you know. Um, she shows us anger. She shows us gentleness. She shows us excitement. She so shows us ecstasy. She shows us anger. She showed us, shows us frustration. Everything. Hurricanes, tsunamis, gentle rain, hard rain, thunder, lightning, the snow that you know, so gently touches the earth and nourishes the earth, the soil, everything, the fires around us. And that's what's within us. All the elements are within us. Mother Nature is within us. And we love her unconditionally. We love her through all of it. And it also brings us heartaches at times because even in the wildness, we can lose loved ones. So... The unknown is, is non-linear, it's, it's chaotic. And so that's why at times as humans, we have a couple choices. We can look at it in a way of bringing in the playfulness of life. The lila is the Sanskrit word. Uh, we can look at it, and sometimes we do, right? It's like I, a lot of you probably have you know, gone to different countries and put a backpack on or on vacation even but what um, backpacking has taught me the most when I go to a different country is that I only have so much in my bag you know and I'm open to everything and anything and I have no idea what the fuck is gonna happen because <laughs> you know all of a sudden you're playing oh no planes today <laughs> oh you just missed your train you know it's like it is the unknown and then you start to embrace it and it becomes a little bit more of the Leela but in life, things happen. There's heartache, heartbreak. There's the loss of loved ones. There's the loss of um, losing a job that sends us on a, on a wild ride. There's divorce. I mean, I could go on and on and on. There's mothers who raise their children, and that's been their purpose for 16, 17 years. And then all of a sudden, their children are gone. And you lose that, that invitation of, what am I going to do next? I don't know what that's like, but I know that's a story for many. So I could go on. And um, a small little story to give you, I, get, I try to give you guys just of um, the reason why I tell my stories and, um, is because, and some of them are hard to tell, just like the one I told you last time, is because I want you to feel comfortable with entering into this portal within your own stories. And um, 
So in 2009, and this has to do with the unknown, obviously. In 2009, I was 38. I'm 48 now. I'm going through another um, loss of identity right now. I'm in it. And I've been in it since last January. And then it was so wild because at the last yoga retreat, at the end of the yoga retreat, I said the next yoga retreat is going to be called Rebirth. And so that really <laughs> intensified everything for me in my life. But this week I realized, well, of course, I am going through a huge process of the unknown. And I have been for over a year now. And that's fine. Because it may take a day. It may take two days. It may take a month. It may take a few months. And it may take several years. And we've all been through it. And some of you are going through it right now, meaning you are in the dark soul. You are right smack dab in the middle of it. Some of you may just have come out of it, right? You went through the anxiety. You went through the sadness. You went through the depression. You went through the uncertainty. You went through the anger. You went through the numbing out. And even then, we have a hard time really being in our relationships that we're in every single day because, fuck, we're in the middle of it. How can we give to others? Obviously, I'm saying this word a lot tonight, F-U-C-K. So I'm sorry if that um, upsets anybody, and I'm not. But, um, <laughs> but what I'm getting at, so in 2009, um, everything happened in my life, and yet it, now it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, except for part of it. I lost a very dear friend um, to cancer. Well, at the time, she told me she had six months to live. I was in the interior design world, and at the exact same time, um, the design firm closed because she was actually my boss, but a spiritual teacher and a good friend. And then the economy crashed, so there were no jobs. I was, um, thought I was with a man of my dreams, <laughs> but it, we were in a long-distance relationship, and it lasted about a year, but he told me he would cheat on me because I wasn't Asian and I was his first Caucasian. That's another story in the book. <laughs> and, but I was devastated. I was devastated. And I lost my job. I didn't know what to do. So I bought a one-way plane ticket. I'm telling you the fast version. Some mm -hmm. of you know this story. Bought a one-way plane ticket, went to Asia, and traveled for a little over six months. And I was so lost. I was so in the unknown. So it was an amazing journey. Obviously, I was traveling. But I cried a lot. And I went through a lot of turbulence. And while I was over there, Terry, my very good friend, passed. And... Um, but I needed to go through what I needed to go through in order to rebirth. And that's how Jala Blue was born mm -hmm. 10 years later. And now I'm going through another process and welcoming in that process, which isn't always easy for me either. So um, as we enter in tonight, uh, it's going to look a little bit like this, similar but different. We're going to do a mantra in a minute, the same mantra. And then I'm going to move you into um, an embodied mudra flow. 